Hello and welcome back to the channel. Till now we have seen the working of uh, Kafka console producers, Kafka console consumers as well as, as Kafka group consumers. Now it may sometimes be the case that our consumers may need to consume messages that they have already consumed, which means that we might have to reset the offset to a different value from which the offset is at the moment. And that is exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. But before we get started, now would be a great time to click subscribe if you have not and let's start learning about resetting offsets. So I will continue with the example that we have been using in the previous video on Kafka consumer groups as well. So if uh, you feel that you are lacking context, you might want to just go back there and watch the previous video and come back here. So uh, here we are going to describe our consumer group CG1 and uh, we see that there is no lag as of now. The current offset and the login offset is the same for all of the partitions 0, 1 and 2 for Kafka topic new. Now if I list down the options that are provided uh, by this script, we would see that we have somewhere a reset offsets uh, option in the script. Uh, what does this do? This resets the offsets of a consumer group and this runs with two modes. One is the dry run and one is the minus minus execute in which the actual execution happens as well as we have many other options. Uh, so uh, we can move the offsets back by period. We can move them to earliest. We can shift them to latest, uh, which is uh, a movement ahead. Uh, we can shift them by uh, a certain number. Uh, we can pick them up from file or we can just set them to the current value. Also, you note here that we can do this for all topics or a single topic. So let's try out this option. Let me go ahead and clear my screen. And there I have the Kafka consumer group dot sh command, the bootstrap server. And what do we want to do here? We want to reset the offsets. And let us say that we want to do this to the earliest. So let me copy this flag from here and uh, paste it here. Uh, I'll provide a space here and um, let's hit enter. Okay, so um, as you can see that we forgot to provide either the dry run or the execute option. So what we'll do here is uh, we will first do a dry run. Uh, now, this is like not a joke. Resetting offset is not a joke. This this might lead to like a large scale outage in, in, in your organization. So uh, please be very careful if you are doing it in a production environment. It's, it's all okay in my local computer for a play, but do be very careful in a production environment with this. So if I dry run this, well, again, uh, we uh, forgot to specify something. This is good. Errors are good. Uh, they make us learn things quicker um, and make them forget them less. Uh, so here we uh, forgot to specify the group option. So let's specify the group option here as well. The group that I want to do it for would be CG1. Let's see what happens now. Okay, we forgot something else as well. Okay, we need to specify the name of the topic for which we want to do this. So we say topic and the name of the topic was Kafka topic new. All right, I hit enter. All right, so uh, we can see that um, the, the offsets for all of these partitions would be set to this new offset. It, if we actually ran this command with a minus minus execute option rather than a dry run option. For now, if I will simply run the describe command here again, uh, we will see that the offset uh, is not set to zero as of now. Let us actually try another flag here instead of to earliest, uh, maybe um, shift by. So if we want to shift the offset, uh, you know, um, to a previous offset, we have to give this quantity as a negative number. So what if I say shift by minus five? Uh, and again, this is just a dry run. So the new offsets would be 8, 16, and 13 for partition 0, 1, and 2. Uh, so uh, for 0, uh, it will be 13 minus 5, which will be 8. 
for 1, 21 minus 5, which would be 16. And for 2, 18 minus 5, which would be 13. Again, if I describe the group and show you, uh, no changes have been made to the group. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am not going to dry run this, but instead I am going to execute uh, this command. All right, so it looks like our new offsets are set. So uh, let's run the describe on the consumer group again. And we can see that each of them have a lag of five. So what I will do here next is I will simply spin up a console consumer, which is part of CG1 and let's see what happens. I hit enter. And well, yes, we can see that this has consumed about 15 messages. So uh, let's uh, stop this consumer. Uh, so you can see processed a total of 15 messages and let's describe our consumer group uh, one more time. And this time the lags should again uh, become zero. And yes, they have. So that is the way how resetting the offset of a consumer group works. Now this feature is very powerful and it is very useful, but it, it has to be used uh, with a lot of caution. With great power comes great responsibility. So do always remember that. And exercise caution when you are actually working with the reset of uh, reset offsets option for Kafka consumer groups. And that's all we had to cover in this short video. If you like the content of the video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. Like always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you very soon with a brand new tutorial.